Today, I'm gonna to be telling you guys how to make over $700,000 per hour solo in free mode. It's insane. You can make a ton of money from doing this. It will require a few things that you actually need to have. And if you don't have those things and you're a beginner, don't worry, there's a link down below in the description to help you guys get rich from level one to level 120 or level 8,000. Everything in that video will tell you how to become rich from the start. But with this, you guys are gonna get rich real quick. So I hope you enjoy and let's get into the video. The very first thing you want to do is vehicle cargo. You want to go and source one vehicle from your CEO office to your vehicle cargo warehouse. There's a trick to get only high-end vehicles. Pretty much what you guys want to do is just source a ton of vehicles beforehand and then once you have a bunch of vehicles in there, you want to sell off all of your high-end vehicles and continue sourcing as you would. And then at some point, you'll only start to get high-end vehicles. That's pretty much the quickest way I could summarize it. But if you don't want to do that, it's fine. Just go to your CEO office, log in, and then source any vehicle. And then right when you source it, go ahead and sell it. Hopefully at that point, you should get a pretty decent profit of $100,000. Step two is gonna be playing the mission called Robbery in Progress from your terabyte. Just go ahead and start it up and scroll through all of the cameras and try to find where the robbery takes place. That's probably the most annoying part of this mission, but other than that, it's pretty straightforward. Once you find the location, head on over to the location and then, you know, rob the robbers and just deliver the gold or the diamonds to the buyer. It took me roughly around three minutes and 21 seconds to complete and you'll get a profit of about $30,000. Step three you wanna do right after you finish that mission and start up the mission from your CEO job menu called Sightseer. It's pretty simple. You just got to run through three simple hacks and then find three packages located all around the map. Honestly, there's not really any tricks I could tell you guys for this. It's a pretty straightforward mission. And in the end, you guys will get a total profit of $21,000. Step four is gonna be doing the mission called Diamond Shopping. A little tip I can give you is right when you're about to finish Sightseer right here, request your terabyte in so then you can just drive over to it opposed to requesting it in after you finish the mission, having to wait 15 seconds. That's just extra time where you could be making some more money. Once again, it's another pretty straightforward mission. It'll say enter the driver's seat of the terabyte, but you don't need to do that. Do you guys remember where the adder spawns in story mode near Rodeo Drive? You pretty much just wanna head on over there because that's where this job will spawn every single time. Once you guys actually get to that location, all you want to do is just destroy the armored truck and the guards standing near it. And once you do that, go pull up to the store, shoot some missiles in there, and kill all of the guards. And then once you do that, drive inside with your oppressor or whatever vehicle you're using and grab the diamonds. From that point, just fly back outside and then follow this route that I'm going. All you have to do is lose the cops while you're in the air because by the time you get to the actual destination, the cops will be gone. Just make sure you don't fly too close to the ground and you shouldn't notice any helicopters flying around either. All you have to do is fly on over there you pretty much just fly dead ahead from this point and then yeah in a couple of seconds it'll show you exactly where the location is it should only take you about two minutes maybe two minutes and 30 seconds to complete this mission and you'll get a pretty decent profit of about thirty thousand dollars step five is going to be starting up the mission headhunter you want to do this right after you're done completing that terabyte mission all you want to do is start it up click the map so then you can see where the nearest target is and then head on over to that target best tip i can give you is if you see the targets in a vehicle shoot two missiles at the vehicle all of the targets will exit it shoot one more missile and it'll kill everybody that was in that vehicle from that point click the map again find the next nearest target head on over there and then just kill all of the targets it's a pretty straightforward mission it shouldn't take you more than three minutes and 30 seconds to complete this mission. And once you do, you'll get a pretty decent profit of about $21,000. Step six is gonna be sourcing a vehicle from your CEO office to your vehicle cargo warehouse. And you wanna hope you get a top range vehicle like I did. Like I said, that trick comes in handy so you can only source top range vehicles. I also suggest using a cargo bob so you don't have to worry about NPCs on the ground damaging your car and pedestrians hitting your car, which happens a lot in one of the other clips in this video, which is really, really annoying. But yeah, pretty much just go and bring the vehicle back to your warehouse. You don't have to drop it, just hover over the circle and it'll automatically be pulled inside of your warehouse. 
Step seven will be to go and sell the vehicle, obviously. You wanna sell it to the specialist dealer to net you the most profit. The next part here is super simple. Just throw any modifications on as fast as you can. You have five minutes to do this, and I hate people that take five minutes to do this. You can complete this in 15 seconds because it serves no purpose at all, and then you guys can have those extra like four minutes and 45 seconds to make money elsewhere. From that point, just drive outside of the warehouse and just deliver the vehicle as fast as you possibly can. It only took me about 6 minutes and 30 seconds to source the vehicle and sell the vehicle, which is incredible. And once you get near the drop-off location, you want to get ready to request your personal vehicle back to you. My oppressor is just sitting outside somewhere and I want it next to me so then I can have it right away when I start up the next mission. So I request it in right here and then just drive into the circle and get my beautiful profit of $100,000. As you guys can see, my oppressor spawned right on the beach behind the delivery location, so you want to hop on it and for step 8, you want to start up the mission called Sightseer once again, run through that shit real quick. Now sometimes this mission may take a little longer for me, it took 5 minutes this time since the packages were really far from each other, but I did get a beautiful profit of $22,000. Step 9, you want to start up the CEO mission called Headhunter once again and just kill all the targets. Lucky for me, one of the targets spawned right in front of me, which is kind of crazy, but yeah, once you guys end up killing all the targets, you'll get another stunning profit of $21,000. Step 10, head back inside your terabyte and you guys are going to start up the mission once again called Robbery in Progress. And then all you need to do is find out where the bank is and hopefully you find it quick so you don't have to sit there scrolling through cameras. And then once you do that, just go and grab the gold, kill the robbers, and then deliver it to whatever location it is and you guys will get another beautiful profit of $30,000. Step 11, why not take a little bit of risk? Head on over to the casino, and if you guys do have a membership, make your way over to any of the table games in the high stakes lounges or your penthouse and throw down a max bet of $50,000. You guys can honestly win a lot of money from this, and I've won millions from the casino in GTA 5. Lucky for me, I did end up getting blackjack, not off my deal, but off of the final hit, and I got a pretty decent profit of $50,000, plus I got to keep my original 50 grand, so that's awesome. I just got a sweet profit of 50 grand in 30 seconds. By the way, be sure to check out Digazani. They'll hook you up with tons of discounted games, gaming accessories, discounted gift cards, and in-game currency for dozens of your favorite games. Don't forget to use code FROLIX at checkout for a 10% discount. Step 12, we're gonna do another vehicle cargo source and sell mission. Unlucky for me, I got a mid-range vehicle, but I remember I have a top-range vehicle inside of my warehouse, so I'm going to go ahead and sell that. Like I said, that trick comes in handy, so then you can only source those high-end vehicles and get some profit. Once again, using the cargo bob to pick up the vehicle, because honestly, I don't want to mess with any NPCs or pedestrians, and then from there, bring it back to my warehouse. Kind of funny how my mechanic breaks the window to get into the car, and it's also kind of funny how the hell this shit manages to happen. I don't even know. And then it's awesome that I get spawned all the way over here, and I have to to run for a minute and a half to get back to my warehouse. This mission took a very long time to do. After a little while, I did manage to get back to my warehouse, and then I sold this high-end vehicle to the specialist dealer to allow me to get the most profit. Once again, at this stage, just put any upgrade on as fast as you possibly can and confirm the settings right after that. You don't want to spend too much time on it because it's literally a waste of time. Do not spend any time on that. From that point, just get the vehicle and deliver it to the location as fast as you possibly can, and of course, avoid all of the NPCs trying to shoot you on the roads. They will get very, very annoying. Right as you're getting to the location, get ready to request your personal vehicle in once again because you want it near you and you don't want to wait afterwards. And then just drive the vehicle into the delivery location and get another sweet profit of $100,000. Unlucky for me, my vehicle spawned kind of far away, but me being the idiot I am, I decide to steal a streetcar and take a shortcut that waves off no time whatsoever, and then I end up falling off a mountain even though I tried to save it at the end there, and then it takes me about another minute to get back up because I attempted to run up this mountain, which you cannot run up. Up, and then I just killed myself. But I did manage to get back, so now we could start step 14, which is going to your CEO work menu and starting up the mission sightseer once again. I managed to get another $21,000, which is awesome, and don't forget, right before this, you want to call in your terabyte to your location so you don't do what I did and fly away and then request it in and just waste time. Step 15, once you get back inside your terabyte, go to the client jobs menu, and then start up the mission once again called Diamond Shopping. Head over to the location, which is always in the same spot, kill all the guards, fly in there, go and grab the gold or diamonds or whatever it's called, make your way back to the location where you deliver it, which is also always in the exact same spot, and get another beautiful profit of $30,000.
Step 16, once you're done that, start up the CEO job headhunter once again, run through it really quickly, shouldn't take you more than three minutes, and then get a beautiful profit of 21 grand. Step 17, the final one, we're gonna do a final vehicle sourcing mission and sell mission. Lucky for me, I got another top range vehicle, which is awesome, and I had to do this race mission, but don't forget, NPCs are stupid. I didn't have my cargo bob now, so please explain to me why the hell this shit happens to me. What is this dude thinking? Like, bruh, you see me coming and you're about to hit that other guy and then look at all the shit that goes down. Look at this, look at this. Look how much damage I have to pay now on my vehicle. This is why you want to use a cargo bob because it helps out a ton. From that point, deliver the vehicle. And then we're obviously going to sell the vehicle to the specialist dealer, run through all the modifications as fast as we possibly can, and then start the sell mission. Unlucky for me, I didn't get to take the highway, I got to take this tiny ass road. Please tell me what you guys would have done in this situation. They fully cut you off and you just lose. Look, look, at, look at that, look at that, look at my commission. You just saw the numbers drop, five grand, that just sucks. The highway is always the best choice you guys will have a much better chance of not damaging your vehicle, especially on roads like this, because they're so damn tiny. So if there's any kind of pedestrians, they'll get in your way. And when the NPCs come to shoot you, they will block the entire road and make you lose a lot of money. But we did manage to sell it and we got another beautiful $100,000 for this high-end vehicle making our total profit in one hour $701,000, which is crazy. It actually only took about 59 minutes and 47 seconds, but that's still a ton of money in only one hour. And then all you guys have to do from there is just rinse and repeat. And guys, don't forget, if you don't have some of the things in this video, don't worry, either just skip over it or click the link down below in the description. Take a look at that playlist. It has all of the videos to help you guys make millions in GTA 5 from level one to level 120 to level 8,000. There's something for every Everybody. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will catch you guys in the next one.